In this problem, we have to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function. So um, I don't see a nice way to factor this, you know, two numbers that multiply to nine, uh, but add to negative two. It doesn't seem like it's that easy to do. So let's uh, try to complete the square. So I'm gonna do that over here. So you have s squared minus two s plus nine. So when we complete the square here, we basically focus on these terms here. So we take uh, the coefficient of s, which is negative 2. We divide it by 2, and we square it, right? So that's going to give us negative 1 squared, which is 1. So we need a 1. Well, let's just borrow 1 from the 8, so we can write it like this. Minus s squared minus 2s plus 1, and then just plus 8. Right, so let's take one of the ones from the eight and, and write it like that. Okay, so here we are, we have this. So this, this factors, okay, you can factor this. This is called a perfect square trinomial. Um, basically, you write the S here, you write the parentheses here, you put a two here, you keep this sign, and then you divide this number by two, so you get one. And then we have the eight here like this. All right, so let's go back to this and let's go ahead and you know replace the bottom piece here uh, with this. So this is the inverse Laplace transform of one over, so now here we have simply um, s minus one squared plus eight. And we're in a better place now, in a much better place. There, there's a formula we can almost use, let me write it down. It says if you want to compute the inverse Laplace transform of k over s squared plus k squared, that's equal to the sine of kt. Okay, it's a very, very powerful formula um, that we can use to compute this, except you notice here there's an s minus one and here there's an S. So first we have to apply something called the first translation theorem, which basically allows us to do a shift like this, inverse Laplace, okay? And this will be one over S squared plus, I'm gonna go ahead and write the eight in a nice way. We wanna write it as something squared. So let's write it as the square root of eight squared. And our shift is from S to s minus one. So we've done our shift. We can't quite use the formula yet um, because the k is not here. So k is the square root of eight. So let's go ahead and put it there. So like this, inverse Laplace transform of the square root of eight over s squared plus the square root of eight squared and we're going from s to s minus one. You might say that's incorrect, it is. <laughs> we need to get rid of the square root of eight. So we can do this, we can multiply by one over the square root of eight and put it on the outside like this. All right, so now we're in a good place. Now we can apply the formula, which you can't see anymore, so I'll write it again over here. Recall it said that if you have the inverse Laplace of k over s squared plus k squared. We said that this was the sine of kt. So here, k is the square root of eight. So this will be one over square root of eight sine of the square root of eight times t. But we're not done, right? We did a shift. So what happens is when you do the shift, you get an exponential. So because we shifted from s to s minus one, it's gonna give us an e to the one times t. So I'm gonna put that right here, and then we're done. If you go from like s to s minus three, you would get an e to the three t. If you do a plus three, you get a negative three t here. So that's it, right? That would be the final answer. So the shift gives you an exponential. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn. Good luck.